Hey! Good morning. I'm here with my friend. Oh, look, can you, can you say hi to the people? Okay, you, you're good now. Um, hi! I am here with you on this marvelous morning because I wanted to do a little something with you. I have to admit, over the past months, I have been hoarding things. I don't know why. Um, and I believe it is time to just open up everything. I believe that a cluttered space is a cluttered mind. And I don't think I'm the only one who has kind of a cluttered space. So I want to start organizing and yeah, showing you guys some of the ways that I'm doing it. And this is literally the start. Uh, my first step to organization is opening up boxes you have yet to open and that are just collecting on all of the outskirts of your room. So I have been collecting uh, consciously and unconsciously a bunch of boxes things that have either been sent to me from countries far and far and far away or just from makeup companies that want to have me review things. Sorry. And uh, so, I don't know, I thought it would be really cool. I've had some really cool things sent to me through my P.O. box and I want to show you some of them. I don't really... It's more of the things that I still have in the little box that I want to show you guys. And just new products because I got some new products that I'm really excited to start working with. And I don't know, I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys what I have so you know what to look forward to in my future videos. So, as I mentioned, some of these boxes will be from companies. Some of them will be from subscribers and friends. So, I don't know, I just thought this would be kind of fun to do together, you know, me and you like the good old days. I'm just kidding. Okay, I am in no way, shape, or form going in any order. See you again. Mm, you want a hug? Just the cutest little boy, and he knows it. He's just a king of the palace. He keeps his chin up high every single day. Give me a hug. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. You succeeded at being a warrior. Okay, I did not plan for that. Okay. I have to get to work, so... We could just, like, scoot that way. Maybe just... No, stay down there. Stay. I know you won't be by your mama, but she'll... It's about coming... I'm just going to start. So the first thing, I don't know why I haven't tried this yet. I don't know why. And in my head, I lost it. In my head, I unpackaged it. I have this little bin that I want to show you in another video on how I try to organize my makeup without really organization. Because you know how you see a lot of people with those big, huge, like, Ikea dressers and it's just packed full of makeup? For one, my makeup collection isn't big enough for me to invest in that yet. So, nor do I even have room right now for that. So, I kind of want to show you guys how I manage to keep all of my makeup together and not mix things up and all that jazz. So, if you guys want to see that, maybe let me know in the comments. Um, and if you don't, let me know so I, you know, I don't want to give you something you don't want. So, I thought I lost this product and I was so mad and so upset. Oh my god! So, I want to start out by showing you comes in this box. It has some beautiful hollow tape. So, if any of you may be familiar, and low-key, I got contacted by Milk a while ago, 
and they were like, hey, can we send you some stuff and like put you on our PR list? And I was like, oh my god, please, yes, because I'm not on any PR lists, you know what I mean? I don't know. Where do you sign up? Like, is it like <laughs> attendance? You just have to write your name on a list and then they just find you? Like, I don't know how this stuff happens, but I, s I remembered them contacting me and just saying like, yo, do you want to review our products and I was like yes please because I watch their videos on YouTube I love their the videos that they put out on their channel and I've always wanted to try their products but I never really like, got anything low-key I don't you know it's not like I cried myself to sleep I was just like hey, you know you win some you lose some am I right so I finally got something yes okay sorry you open up lip folder can you not look that hard? You might burn a hole through it. Okay, so in it, it says Glow For It. Our best-selling matte primer just got a pearlescent upgrade. Meet Luminous Blur Stick. Wow. It's a blur stick that's primed to go. It primes skin, it illuminates with a matte finish, it has a blurring effect, and it's vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. So, it comes in this very nice bag, and on the back of this bag, it says eco-friendly, BPA-friendly, phthalate-free, I'm not sure if that's the real word, but, and it's recyclable. So this is pretty cool. You could take this to school and, like, bring, you know, a little pack of lunch, and then people say, what's that? And you say, oh, my milk. I just need my milk. Maybe that wasn't funny, but to me, <laughs> it'll never get old. So I think that's a really cute bag, and it's like rubbery almost. So anyway, I've never seen one of these bad boys in person besides one of the testers at S -S 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 Sephora. So, let me get up close and personal. It looks like this. It's really pretty, and I just want to put it all over. So it does come with a sealer, like the dome we're under. <laughs> just kidding. <gasps> or am I? So anyway. <laughs> it comes with this. I really don't want to mess it up right now, but I can't wait to try this. One ounce of liquid gold. <laughs> Priceless. So, look forward to a video reviewing this, and I love the little... I'm gonna save deal! Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, look it. She has little diamonds on the teeth. Feels like a midget is hanging from my necklace. <laughs> Sorry. Chang used the shit. But look at her little, on her bottom two teeth. She has gold studs. I don't know if they could show up, but. Ah, whoa. Sorry, I need to stop. Okay, anyway. There is the first box. Milk, makeup, thank you. I'm so excited. I really am, and the box is amazing. It comes with this. We all know what I'm gonna use that for. Okay, so I'm gonna put this bag, look at luminous. Okay, put her back in her home. One thing though, a tip to try to not collect unnecessary things. I don't know what it is about me, but I have a hard time throwing away even like packages and boxes and it's weird, but I don't know. Like a part of me is weird. Okay, get this. So one real quick. The reason why I've never really known how to uh, go about making one of these videos is because I never want people to think that I'm bragging or trying to show off anything. That's just, that's not me. So in a way, I don't even want to have to make that disclaimer because I really hope that those of you who have been following me, even if it's for a little bit, understand that that would never be my motive, never be one of the reasons why I make a video. I, I don't want that. I really want this to, in a way, motivate this. <laughs> I want this to motivate people because I was sitting here one time, you know, when I you know, I don't have a lot of money, you know, and I'm, none of us do. Like, come on, it, come on. So, especially in school, like, would being a student or just being having to work all the time and your money go to bills, it is hard to be able. To, I don't have spending money to spend on makeup. I just don't right now. It's not in the, it's not in my budget. I just don't think that that is a necessity that I need right now due to my, just my, 
situation, okay? So, one of the things that went through my head if I did start becoming a beauty influencer is that I would be able to create more looks if I reviewed more makeup, and I know that's something that makeup artists do is they are allowed to get makeup to review and it's whether it be sponsored or not sponsored no this video is not sponsored it's just my point being that if you are somebody who is struggling with either getting makeup you love makeup makeup is your passion like mine that's exactly how i am and it still hasn't changed it still probably never will i just don't have the resources right now to be able to afford makeup you guys can start a blog, you can start a YouTube channel, you can build yourself to be able to be in a situation where companies are contacting you. It's not easy, it doesn't happen overnight, you don't need a management team, you don't need to be with a talent agency, you don't need to be with a YouTube agency, a networking agency, none of that stuff you guys. You could do it all by yourself, it just takes time and patience and that's like one of my reasons why I want to try making this video. If you guys don't like it, please let me know in the description box. Uh -huh! In the comment section. <clears throat> if this is just something you really don't want to see. I know you guys are waiting for my book video and I promise I will explain that when I unpackage some books that I have. There's just so much. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to explain that real quick that I, I just don't want this video to be like, oh look at what I have. It's more of like Holy crap, everything I get, I cherish, I am so taken back, I am beyond thankful, I am blessed. It's just amazing. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have even also been able to build myself up to this, the position I'm in, you know? If it weren't for you guys following me and commenting, these companies probably, you know the companies, they look at numbers, so they see me as a number, yo, they, they you know, some of them don't. Some of them, the people I talk to, they do, they want to build a relationship with you and they care about you. But when it comes down to it, they see your amount of followers and they're like, yo, she can sell stuff, like get our stuff sold, we make money, you know what I mean? And so that's sometimes, it's frustrating because I don't know if that's how companies are looking at me, you know? Sometimes you don't know, you don't know people's intentions, Jesus, spit it out. So, I don't, I just, it's okay to be proud of yourself, you know what I mean? And sometimes... I feel weird being proud of myself, and I wasn't like that until I lost my parents. I don't know if it's just because, like, my parents just boosted my confidence so much, and they, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It was like, yeah, I was older, but I came home with the package, and I was like, Dad, look, I got a box. Like, I got a box. And he'd be like, oh, my God, open the box. And then I opened the box, and we're like, oh, my God. And, like, I don't have that anymore, and it sucks. And so I think that's another reason I just have, like, box sit boxes sitting there unopened because I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a rut. I'm in a rut, right? Aren't we all? It's just life. So anyway, just get across this tangent. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm sorry, but I told myself I'm getting back in the swing of this. So just bear with me, children. Bear with me. But yes, so just know, like I, I, I really did work hard to be able to have all of these things, you know what I mean? It's like I I knew this is what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to review makeup and fashion and spread my love for makeup and my, just spread, just, I want people to have confidence in whatever they're passionate about, anything, whether that be sports or do, riding a bike or painting or doing hair or makeup or teeth or anything you guys just please be passionate about it and just I want us to also be able to be happy for each other you know I love watching unboxing videos I love seeing the joy on people's faces when they see like that their hard work is paying off or that they finally get something that they've really been wanting to get or they can't afford it just things like that okay I'm shutting up anyway put a fork in it lady <laughs> okay anyway the next thing that I got that, this is another thing, I don't know why, a part of me, I'm real scared of certain things, like, you know, it's, it's just newer, and yeah, anyway, so, this is a wig that I am going to review and make a tutorial for, more of a makeup look, makeup look slash possible hairstyle using the wig. I'm still so new to wigs, that's another reason why, I see so many wig videos that it's just obvious you're wearing a wig. And I don't want that, you know what I mean? I want to just be able to 
look, make it look natural, but practice makes perfect. So I want to practice and show you guys that you could start from being a complete amateur like me right now, and hopefully I can maybe teach myself how to wear wigs. I don't know. The last one I wore with my curly, curly one, the curls were all over the hairline, so I didn't have to worry about a hairline at all. So anyway, this is a wig from elfwigs.com. It came with a little brush. I did brush through the hair already, so it does shed a little bit, but you, when you see how much hair is on it, you'll, <laughs> you'll understand why. So I got this little brush. I can brush my cast with it if I want to, but we haven't decided yet. So the wig does come with a wig cap. You get a little sticker that has your information on the back of what kind you wanted, what length, your order number, blah, da, 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 da. And then here's the wig I got. Um, one reason why I got this wig is because I personally don't like to use any heat on my hair. And I like the way makeup looks, fashion looks, sometimes with straight hair. So I decided that it'd be really cool to get a straight wig. And this one's really long. So I don't know. I just think it'd be really cute to try to pull this off. But it looks like this. It's really freaking long. Like if I had this on right now, say this was like on the top of my head. The hair would go all the way, like, down to my waist. So, for one, my hair also isn't that long right now. One day it will be. But I just thought it would be kind of cool to try to make a little makeup look like this. And make, hey, I'm a little schoolgirl. But I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. I really do. That's something. I have so many wigs. It's not even funny. I just need to whip them out and make some videos and yes so this is one that I want to show you guys and it's like it's hair you know what I mean it's that thick shit <laughs> I'm just kidding okay but I'm really excited for this one I'm really excited and it looks like it has like a little bit of blonde highlight kind of people are probably like girl that wig look and no, I'm just kidding I'm excited I'm excited you can't harsh my mellow hell not nah, Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your mouth for hell okay Let's put her back. I think I'm going to put her back in her happy sack. Okay. So you just go. So you just go. like a cafeteria burger. Okay, so that is my next box that I have. Numero tres. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. She's okay. Okay, okay. This next box is something that I just wanted to show you, but I'm going to make another video on it. It's one of those treat boxes that have like foods from around the world. I'm going around the world! And yeah, I thought this would be really fun to try together. So, let me know in the comments if you would like to see a mukbang with some uh, worldwide food. My next one contains some books. So, here is why I have been just so confused on what to do about my book videos. So as you can see, I got books for days. Like, I sleep on books. My gosh. But the books I read are so impacting that I can't just show you the title and be like, yeah, this book is about life. Go get it. I want to talk about it and I want to explain my outlooks and my opinions and my views and my political standings. Just kidding on that one. But... I just want to be able to like, you know what I mean? You know how I get with books. So it's just, it brings me so much anxiety knowing that I just have to get a stack of 10 books and be like, hey, get this book. Hey, get this book. Hey, you know what I mean? I just can't, can't do that. So I don't know if I need to just make a series or whatever where a certain day of the week 
I just make a video dedicated to a specific book and I talk about why I like it. I can do a little summary. I could just talk about one really cool point I learned in it because I swear to God, you guys, that's the issue. You learn about 40 things on two pages and it's a 500 page book and you're like, how am I supposed to explain how impactful this is in a matter of two seconds when I've got 500 pages with 17,000 facts theories and different dialects on it that I just don't know how to go about it. So that is why I've just been so kind of frazzled on how to go about making a book video. So as of right now, the book that I got sent to me by my friend Brandon, it I got two books sent to me. One I haven't started yet, but this one I have started and I'm going to recommend it. I want to make a video on it all on its own, but it is... Honestly, I don't know what it was. You know me, at first when I glance at a book, I get a weird vibe from the cover of it, and I either just get a good vibe or a weird vibe or a bad vibe, you know what I mean? So with this one, it was an interesting vibe because it has more of a modern cover, you know what I mean? All of my older books, they give me the vibe of an old life. Not like an old person's life, but of a life I had in previous dimensions, whatever the hell we want to call it. But it's like it just sparks a memory in me that's like, oh my god, I read this in a past life, or oh my gosh, this is here for a reason. I don't know why, when I saw the cover of this book, I was like, hmm, this looks like a way more present day book. And I don't know why, but sometimes the minds of some present day people are very interesting and they, they're a little bit more confusing than a lot of the people who were from a long time ago and like technology, social media, life wasn't as weird as it was now so I feel like they were a little bit more just different than us so that's why I feel like I'm so much more drawn to just strange books like that so when I got this book I was like no you're not gonna be judgmental you're gonna read this and just start reading it right now so I started reading it and for one this is such an easy read that anybody has to get it I'm not kidding you and when I say easy read and not only do I mean the size of the book it's like it's more smaller. The books I have are a little bit longer this way. So this just, it's easier to hold in your hand. I know this is weird, but, and something else my dad told me to never do, but I do all the time because I love breaking a good, no, okay. You're not supposed to bend the back of a book like that, you know what I mean? But I do, like, I don't know what it is. I just find it comfortable to read like this. So, it's easy to do that with this book, and you just can, you can hold it in the hand, you can hold it in the air, it's just the perfect size pocket book. And, the font is big, the space between the letters is big, the space between the lines is big, and if you're a weirdo like me, your brain pays attention to those things almost more than it does the freaking words and context of the book. So, for example, it's, it's just kind of like big font, you know what I mean? It's real, it's really awesome. And what I love about this is the author, Tim Freaky, Free Kiki, Kiki Palmer, hit me up, girl, I'm waiting all day. I'm just kidding. Anyway, okay. The, what I love is that the author, he wanted to write a book about kind of like spirituality, understanding the deeper concepts of life and just deep thinking. Literally, forget spirituality, forget religion, deep thinking and just like going beyond the box, going outside the box, right? But he wanted to write it in a way that had more of a modern language and easier understanding to it because like I said, the old books you read from like philosophers and just theologists from way long ago. Okay. Camera stop, memory card was full, had to be stock. Okay. So back to what I was saying, he wanted to write it in a way that was easy to understand if you're just the average person, you know what I mean? You don't like deep vocabulary, you don't like questions that make you ponder so much that you don't even want to finish reading the book, you know what I mean? I told you I judged a book by its cover and I shouldn't have and I, why would I, uh, what the hell, you know what I mean? And. This is just amazing. This book is amazing. One of the, the things that I have been living off of and I'm only... Let me see how deep in I am. I'm only on page... I just started chapter 5. I'm on about page 43. So I'm only this far into the book. I haven't read that much at all. And one of the things that he talks about is just... We're born with two eyes, so why do we always look at things just so one way? Like, why are we so closed-minded and just, we see things as one 
perspective. That's it. We never branch out of that, but we have two eyes. So he's saying, like, if you only had one eye, we would see everything as a flat surface. There would be no depth to anything. So the fact that we have two eyes allows us to see what would be just a flat surface as way more in depth. So how come as having a human mind, we don't have the capability of understanding that there's way more than just one way of thinking. And he calls it paralogically thinking. I want to say that's the term he uses. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But it's just saying that like, there's either looking at it in just one way or that like, I don't want to get too deep into it because I do want to make a video kind of all on its own. But it's like, you can either see the world as that's fact or that it can be and or. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, looking at somebody being judgmental and just saying, he looks stupid. Okay, that might be true, but he's also very smart. So it's like you can either just see it as he's stupid or you can understand that there's two ways, there's two sides, there's three sides, there's four sides. There's more than one way to look at somebody. So if you just choose to be impulsive and just look with one eye, one lens, and never reveal or uncover the other eye that you have, or even like, forget the third eye, people don't even know how to look at through the two eyes that they have, you know what I mean? So this book is amazing. I'm already on page 52. I'm so in love with it. I'm already starting to sweat. Like, okay. Anyway, I thank you so much for sending this to me. I, I, I really and truly do. It's, it's helped me more than I can even say. So that is one thing that I got sent to me in my P.O. box. And he also was very nice and sent me um, some bookmarks. And one I have in my kitchen that I use for this book. And I just brought it from... In there so I could show it in this video, but it has a beautiful freaking mermaid on it, and y'all know me, if you're a real MVP. So the other one says, I will keep your place. That it has like a little owl on it, and they come in these little protective sleeves, but I'm too scared to like take it out and then have my dog pee on it or something, <laughs> right? So I just put it in here, and then I have one that says keep calm and carry on with a crown on it that I thought was so cute. And I honestly don't know what it is, but like those of you out there, you know books cost enough as is than to have, like, purchase bookmarks on the side. Like, thank you. That is very sweet of you, and I really do appreciate it. And so, I don't know, it just, when you guys send me things, and I have them, and it's like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm so serious when I say you guys just make my life so much better. It's ridiculous. And then the next book that I have is called The Presence Process, A Journey into Present Moment Awareness. And I'm glad I started this little one first because this one is, it looks to be about 200 pages. And this one, the font, it looks like a normal normal book. It's not as bold fonted, but this one is 300 pages. So I'm so excited. I, you got a good taste in books, so I'm freaking excited. And then I did get a little note Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then another thing that I got into, sent to my P.O. box that is just stuck into this box but was sent by my friend, Sari, is some organic African black soap. And it's literally a chunk, a chunk of this stuff. Chunk of soap. And you're supposed to just cut off a little bit that you need. But it comes with this little bag of Q-tips and you're supposed to take a little bit of this soap and like put it underneath your neck. And just for a test to see if your skin is too sensitive or whatnot. So it comes with that. So freaking cool, you guys. And then, like, I've seen African black soap in the store, but it definitely doesn't look organic. Like, you know what I mean? Like, natural. Like, this stuff. It looks more man-made and pressed and just, like, I don't know how to explain it. But then it also came with this little jar of shea butter. And it explains everything. It says that it comes with this huge thing, yo. It explains for the first week, you only use it for five seconds. You leave it on your face for five seconds when you're washing your face. Then you can change it up. And then it says that you're supposed to use the organic shea butter after each use. So then it gives you a little bit of this guy to try out for yourself. I'm yet to try this, so I'm really excited. You guys know me. I'm just so skeptical to put anything on my face. Like, even all natural and organic things freak me out sometimes. That is so awesome. So, I thank you so much. Like, it, I don't know. It, it also brings me peace to know, like, people out there are trying to also help me with my skin. You know what I mean? It's just, it's amazing. So, I really do thank you. My next box is something that was sent to me. 
and it is from a company that you guys can try out yourselves too. It is pinchme.com. It doesn't cost anything. It's literally one of those you get samples as long as you agree to fill out your review, what you thought of it, so on and so forth. It comes with a little thing. It says all of the instructions on the back. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. It's amazing. All you have to do is pick your samples out on Tuesday. You don't need a credit card. Uh, it's nothing. It's just you choose your samples for the box. And then you give us free feedback. It says you try the products for free. And in exchange, we ask for a bit of your time and plenty of opinions. Two of the items are in my shower because I got shampoo and conditioner that is organic and natural it's it's amazing i'll show it to you when i talk about what i've been using on my hair but i literally ha got two huge shampoo and conditioner bottles that you buy at the store for absolutely free in this box dude i use it it works amazing on my hair and look what would you know just by filling out a freaking thing on a tuesday i also got some of these mini nut thins that are almond and rice cracker snacks so, might as well pop a molly and start sweating. Child proof. Alright. Okay. They're not bad. Would I buy these on my own? No. But, they're not bad. Next is this Olay Whipped Light as Air Active Moisturizer. And it's this nice guy. If you open it up, it's like you get actual products, you guys. Open it up, and it's this really pretty Olay. And then you just take off this little thing. Mm, it smells amazing. I might try it on my neck or something. I'm always just worried things are going to break me out. Okay, and then, I'm yet to try this, but I'm so excited. It's Dr. Sheffield's Fluoride-Free Extra Whitening No Artificials or Color Toothpaste. Looks like this. We'll see how big the container is inside. It is a nice tube of toothpaste. Anyway, you guys, I'm telling you. Premium toothpaste helps remove stains for a brighter, wider smile since 1805. Some of us haven't even been alive since then. And then I got a Rex bar for kids. So if you are vegan, these aren't for you. But they contain two egg whites, two almonds, five cashews, one date, and no bad stuff. I got a berry one and I got a chocolate chip one with seven grams of protein. Very interesting. I am going to have to do an update on what I'm eating, if I'm still vegan, who am I, and what I'm wearing. But seriously, you guys, like, it's, it's free, not paid to make this. No, you won't even have to pay to get this. It's amazing. I seriously, I'll leave more information about it in the description box, but I would honestly recommend this. I'm not kidding you. I got the shampoo I've been using every single time I shampoo. I'm going to start using this toothpaste. I do have some natural and organic toothpaste in my bathroom that I've been using. So, I haven't had to break into this bad boy yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to, and I will let you know what I think about it when I do. This box was sent to me by my friend Ava. I believe that's how you say her name. And this is amazing because she is from Slovenia. And her and I, we emailed, and I answered some things for her. She asked me if I could help her with something um, related to her career. And so I answered some questions that she had. And in return, she wanted to thank me. And she sent me a little box of some goodies. And I did open this already. And I did eat the candy that she sent me because I had to try it. And a lot of the times when people send me things, the first thing I don't think is grab a camera and record this. So, all of the gifts that I have gotten through my P.O. Box, I thank you guys immensely. I get the books, I get the letters, I get the drawings from you guys who do send me things. It's amazing. I've only gotten, you know, I don't get a huge amount of things. A lot of this stuff that I'm about to open is mostly just makeup from companies. But when I get things from you guys, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. 
I'm in the process of writing a lot of you guys back right now, I promise. But this is from her, and she got me some socks that say Slovenia. I'm just going to put them on right now. Right now. Because there's no better time for Slovenian socks. Hey, yeah! They're a little big, but it's because I'm literally too tiny for life. Slovenia! Slovenia! Yeah! Slovenia! Those are so cool. So now that I got my Slovenian footwear on, inside also contains, what did I say that I needed earlier? Some chapstick. Now this is mm, Mazilo za Ustenes. Mazilo za Ustenes. It is a pomegranate lipstick. Or, yes, it says lipstick, but it's chapstick, you know what I mean? Ooh, I'm so excited. Mmm, that smells really good. Let's try it out. Ooh. It's very, very moisturizing. Like, you know how some chapstick's thicker? This is more, like, glossy. See that, boys and girls? Slovenian chapstick. Right there. What can I say? One day I'll travel the world. And then this is so amazing. She sent me this little diary and it has these yellow, this yellow pattern on it. Isn't that so cute? And it's, it's just amazing. So I cannot wait to dive into this. Ah, that is so cool. I have her little letter. That was so sweet. So sweet. So it's actually like a magnet. I need to set it up. It says greetings from... I do not know how to pronounce that. But it's just this little dinosaur. So cute. And he's reading a book. Yes. And then I got this coin, which is even more amazing. Two euros. Wow. That is so cool. Come on. It doesn't want to focus, but this is a really cool coin. And then she sent me this thing, and to be honest, I'm not too sure how to use this, but I think I have an idea. But it's called a bookie. And I don't know, but it just says, bookie wishes you a pleasant reading. In the inside. And then it comes with this like elastic thing. And then this guy. What went through my head was that, and she also sent me a book, and it's translated from the German, Angel of Oblivion. The front page is amazing. Seriously, I wish I had more time in the day. So, okay, anyway. But, I think you take it and you like do that and it kind of helps you read that's what my brain tells me it's for but if any of you guys have one of these please let me know down below how I use it if I was using it right seriously but I thank you so much for this it's to know that it's all the way from across the world it's absolutely amazing I won't even throw away the box I can't and I won't it has just stamps and stickers and cool stuff and this box is perfect in size and I could go on and on and on and on. I think you isn't even enough, seriously. 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 Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay. So, I have four boxes left. Two, I know are completely packed full of makeup and oh my goodness, pee my pants. So, not too sure what's in this box, uh, but we're going to open it. 
careful with scissors, guys, and knives. And then this box, this is so funny. Um, so the same friend who sent me the African black soap, I fell in love with dates. I couldn't stop eating dates. And now they're trying to get me hooked onto figs. So I got a whole bag of figs. This is really how I've been gaining weight. You just take a bag and you just, that's all you do. You just lift, lift, just like that. That's it. It's so funny. So funny. Crack me up. Crack me up. Got me crack. Oh. All right, here's another box from Amazon. I just don't need anybody like zooming in and trying to find my address on things like y'all. Stay in your lane. Okay. This is box. I knew it. I'm really happy about this one. I don't really know. I don't really eat figs, but I'll eat dates till the day I die. Um. <laughs> ah! That's so funny. And I got a little book to read. And I do have to thank Sari for teaching me a lot and a lot and a lot of things and facts behind different religions. I want to thank you for that and that's something else that I could talk to you about in another video. But I got the, I, I don't know, I'll pronounce it wrong so I just didn't want to even pronounce it. But I got this book to read and just teach me, keep, like I said, that book. You want to live a life looking through one eye or do you want to look through two eyes, three eyes, four eyes? It's up to you, but I would really, really recommend to not be closed-minded and regardless of what you hear, teach yourself a lot, you know? Do the research. Read. Read books you would never even imagine yourself reading. I promise you, you will learn more than anything. There's this, uh, in the book I'm actually reading right now, I swear that the, this one, if I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, so please don't hold me accountable for this. But what it talks about is that science and religion, they basically, what people need to see is that they are two extraordinary ways, oh my god, how did they put it? I'm going to see if it's in here, hold on. This book is amazing, you guys, and he talks about the negative aspects that people are trying to put on spirituality because I've told you guys this so much. You know how religion is almost so corrupt, it's not even religion anymore? Well, it's getting to be that point with spirituality too, at least in my eyes. And so what he even says right here, I know this has nothing to do with what's going on right now, but it says, in past spiritual traditions, they have often been very negative about the human experience. They portray the world we inhabit as an illusion from which we need to wake up and become enlightened. So we don't have to reincarnate back into this troublesome human experiences. So, to, again, open-minded. You want to read this book, you got to be open-minded. You may not agree with everything you read, but still, everything has something to teach you. So, but, literally, it says, when I am deep awake, the world becomes a wonderland. And I cannot agree with that more. His mom also passes away from a sickness. When you can also connect with the author, it's easier for you to not believe what you're reading, but take into consideration and just learn from it. You know what I mean? Yeah, paralogically thinking can help us see that science and spirituality, sorry, not science and religion. Paralogical thinking can help us see that science and spirituality offer opposite but complementary ways of understanding reality. That sentence right there made me shit break, so I put a little star by it. But I'm not kidding you guys. Listen, paralogical thinking, which like I said, looking through two eyes, not just being closed-minded, not even just two eyes, but looking through a world and not just one way. It can help us see, so if you see it through two eyes, you can see that science and spirituality are both completely opposite but complementary ways of understanding reality. We're trying to understand reality the best we can. All I'm trying to say, you guys, is that this, this book is amazing. So spirituality and religion, I, I still feel like falls into the same thing. We're both searching for the same sort of answers, just in a different way. If you don't agree with me, to each its own, I promise. Like, I'm just, I, I don't know. But it just comes down to it. Like I said, it, whether you read a book on spirituality, whether you read a book on religion, you can both take away from each, you can take away from each of these books the same type of information. It's just the way you look at it and the way you allow your brain to interpret what you're reading. I promise you guys, when I get more into my book videos, I'll explain it so much, but so excited. Thank you for this book. It does look like it'll be like an easier read too.
So, thank you so much. Another Amazon box, and if this has a bag of dates in it, no, I'm just kidding. Ooh, what is this? Who is this from? I'm dead! Who is this from, you guys? This is why I love you guys so freaking much. So I have the little note and it, I'm like, I'm so happy I made this, I'm, I'm making this on video. Hi Sarah, just an advice. I would recommend to wash them before using, like many things, they come from the factory and God knows where they have been. Your skin might not be happy in the end. Aiden, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Y'all seriously look out for me like no one else. No one else's business. <laughs> Girl got me some bed sheets. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, I am so fucking taken back right now. This is the best unboxing ever. <laughs> oh my god, I'm seriously dead. I'm dead, yo. Put me in my coffin with cat hair in my crevices. Yo! Like you, she knows, like she knows. Mama needs some help. She, I am so done. Oh my goodness. And it has leaves on it. <laughs> Oh my god, I seriously am speechless. I am speechless. <laughs> like, yo, no one knows this feeling that I'm feeling right now. Like, I know 900,000 people don't watch me consistently. Like, maybe 30,000 of you guys do. But yo, just, just to... <laughs> Just to know that there's there's just one there's one person out of that that group of people who has my back to that extent. Not many people leave me speechless, yo. Not many people do. Normally, I <laughs> that is awesome. You are a freaking legend, yo. You it's going down in history. Like you. <laughs> Thank you, dude. And like, this is the best part. If my dad was here, I would have already had cheats on my, I would have had my ass beat for the way my bed looked right now. It's just like, you <laughs> those of you who like, I followed me on you now, I don't know if I said it on YouTube, but I had those cactus sheets that I got for this bed, but I got a size too small so they didn't fit all the way. So I just had to like pretend that they fit all the way. Oh my goodness, so. But it's just, I wish my dad was here, but in a way, he wouldn't get it because he would be, like, so pissed off at me. He would be so pissed off at me. He'd be like, Sarah, you seriously made some, it's like, no, I didn't make anybody, but, like, you know, somebody just cares so much, and it's just so funny to me. I just wish he was here. Oh, my God. It's like, Dad, yo, I got two fucking bags of dates, figs, and some bed sheets. Like, get at me, yo. This is why people can't harsh my mellow. You get a bag of dates in one hand and a bag of freaking figs in the other and some new bed sheets and you tell me if you will let one person, I don't care how tall, harsh your mellow. And that's all I have to say. Oh my god, I would... That was awesome. <sighs> I think I got this crooked. Oh my goodness, that was funny. I'm not sure what is in this guy. I did get this from my P.O. box. I love you guys so freaking much. Seriously, I wish everybody could have friends like you and us. Like the friendship that we, I just, I wish everybody on YouTube could experience this type of like love too. You know what I mean? 
the love I have for you guys, for one, I hope everybody gets to experience that one day. The way that, like, it, it I don't know, you just, you, like the guy says, you see bliss and freaking everything when you start understanding just the way the world works. You can either see the ugliness and the disgusting things that have happened in your life, or you can see the beauty and the essence and the pure love that people spread around this world. So this is another book that I got sent to me. This is so interesting, too, that we're talking about weird, weird universe, right? So this book is uh, by Dr. Mirais Bukayali. It's the Bible, the Quran, and science. The Holy Scripture is examined in the light of modern knowledge. This is going to be, and the artwork is beautiful. How interesting. Thank you. I'm so excited to read this. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, well, I don't know which one of these boxes are first. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one first. Um, these next two are makeup. So if you aren't really interested in makeup, if you're a guy and we're only really wanting to see some like some of the book information or other products, you know, um, you know, you can click out of this if you want. If you want to hang out with me for a little bit longer, you know I'll be here. Um, but. I was contacted a while ago by Hush. They sent me a box of things. I actually got to pick out the things that I wanted, but then, like, low-key, I didn't hear anything back. Like, I just didn't hear anything. Just didn't hear anything. I reached out again and was like, hey, because I did have an issue with some things. Just, I either broke out from it, so I need to talk to you guys about it. I haven't made a video about it yet. But, somebody from, they, like, reached out to me again and were like, hey, you want to review stuff? And I was like, well, yeah, I already, like, reviewed stuff. Once, like I picked out a couple items, it wasn't even like a PR box, they they were contacting me asking if I wanted to review a PR box. And I was like, yes, I would love to because the eyeshadow palettes that I even use in some of in my videos now, I got from Hush. I, the box is sitting right there, that's why I keep pointing down there. So I still have stuff I haven't even used from my first Hush box. So, they contacted me again and were like, yo Sarah, we want to help you out and holy hell! And what's crazy is in the beginning of this video, I was like, I don't even have enough makeup to need to get a storage, you know, big organizer. Hush, thank you so freaking much. And I do know there's some controversy when it comes to Hush. Yeah, they're knockoff palettes. Yeah, they're just copying bigger brands. I don't have the money to go buy those big brands to review for you guys. And those guys just don't want to reach out to a sister. Beach Cosmetics, though. Oh, my God. You guys already know how I'm, I'm feeling about BH Cosmetics. They are the bee's knees. Oh my goodness. But, um, you know, even they're affordable. But I'm, I'm just talking about these high ends like Marc Jacobs and Estee Lauder. And these things, I just, guys, I promise one day we will be there. But we stop from the bottom. Okay, so the little palettes I got... But this one I already have, so I don't want to open the new one because I want to give this one away. But this is the Royals palette that I have, and I've used this. It doesn't even look like it though, but I have, I promise. I've used it in videos before. So, 
if one of you guys would like this. I'll put the description box how to get this. So, there's that guy. Set him off to the side. Okay, don't want me. Cause I'm on you now. It's okay, don't miss me. Should I call you now? It's okay, you don't love me. I'm one of a kind I'm one of a kind On the inside are these beautiful highlighters, wow Super excited. This cheers looks beautiful. So let me know if you, one of you guys, if you think it would be a good idea for me to give away my Royals palette. Um, let, like seriously, let me know in the description box. Um, please. This last little thing is something that I got sent to me from a little website. It is a plastic cactus light. It is so cute. So it's just this, it's a little cactus. And the batteries go in the back right there. I don't know, sometimes when companies contact me, they do have clothes, but I see that they have so many cute little, like, home decor. And like I said, when you're on a budget, sometimes you don't have the proper, like, you know, just finances to buy the cute little knickknacks that you would like. So this can also... This can also hang on a wall. It has a little hanger, so you can like hang it up and it'd light up. And it's really affordable, you guys. Ah, oh, I'll leave it in the description box. This skirt is so cute. So, something to motivate me to help me gain weight is some really cute new clothes that I, even small, like the size small, I wouldn't be able to fit into unless I gained more weight. So this is so cute. It's just this leather skirt that you guys have seen probably everywhere with these cute zippers. And I cannot wait to style this. I cannot wait. I'm not sure if this will fit yet. But it will, I promise. It's so cute. I'm so excited. I've never been confident to wear this something like this recently. So I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn out in the summer. I am thinking about doing another jewelry haul, my little sweet nothing videos. So let me know if you'd like to see one of those. But it's this little, like, bull ring almost necklace that I thought would be really cute. Just a little choker. There were these really cute choker necklaces that I thought would be really cute for the summer and in a video. So I can't wait to show those. Then this, I absolutely am in love with. It's one of those faces. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So excited. And then I got some stunnels. Some stunnels for the summer. Aren't they so cute? They make everything so mellowly yellow. These are cute. Just for fun. Some summer fun. They're red hearts. So cute and so fetch. Oh my god, they make everything look so cool. I'm gonna just wear these around. They're a little crooked from the mailing, from shipping and handling. Don't I look so 90s? Uh, 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 uh. I love them. And then last but not least, to stunt. On everybody, we need a nothing but diamond choker. Cheap as in, like... It's cute, though. I love it. 
I'm gonna do a really cute look with it. Okay, so that is it for all of my unboxing. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna show you guys what my floor looks like. But those are all of the packages that I have been hoarding and collecting and allowing to just be filled with love until I open them. And the whoa, cat hair flew on everywhere. I thank my subscribers. Amazing followers for the little gifts you guys have sent me and the amazing books that have seriously impacted my life that have taught me a lot of the things that I can in return teach you guys or talk to you guys about through my videos. So if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't know a lot of the stuff that I have learned. I wouldn't have the things that I have. So I just really wanted to thank you and show you guys what you can accomplish if you just kind of, you know, you you stay mellow and you continue to put hard work in. I promise it will pay off no matter how hard life is, no matter the crap you're going through. Just stay focused on your drive and just try your hardest not to let anything knock you off of your course. And if you do, you, there's always tomorrow. You can always start right back up again. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much again. It's absolutely amazing. and I'm speechless, but I'll just show you guys guys about but it's just hoarding need to get rid of stuff and so yeah I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have and stuff that you can look forward to to see me using in videos well come on what the? so I hope you guys have an amazing day I hope some of these colors inspire you to go dig into your makeup collection and create some cool looks or some fashion inspiration to get you to go look for some cute clothes jewelry um, books oh my goodness books yes Jesus Christ okay so I will have everything linked below as always and seriously I can't stop thing saying saying thank you but I truly mean it and just thank you guys so, to more videos, holy crap, more makeup videos, book videos, talking videos, I got you guys, I promise. I also want to even make a little updated what I've been listening to music-wise. So, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.